Good afternoon. It's Wednesday, December 14th, 2016. Update. From all West New York News, I'm Scott Leffler. There's a lake effect snow warning for this afternoon and evening in the Buffalo area. Make that an advisory in the Rochester area. High near 27. Overnight low around 12. Tomorrow, more snow with a high in the high teens. Due to the weather, all after-school activities for the City of Buffalo School District are canceled. What's in the news? General Motors is investing $334 million in its Tonawanda, Lockport, and Rochester plants, maintaining 4,200 manufacturing jobs and adding 67 jobs in the Tonawanda plant. The lion's share of the money will go to the Tonawanda plant for equipment for future engine production. Attorney General Eric T. Schneiderman today announced an additional $20 million in funding for the fifth year of his Homeowner Protection Program, or HOP, as well as the launch of a Downstate Foreclosure Rescue Scam Prevention Initiative. More than 70,000 families across the state have received help from the HOP program since 2012 to avoid foreclosure. The funding for both programs comes from bank settlements. 30-year-old Tony Peebles of Buffalo, who was convicted of discharging a firearm in furtherance of a crime of violence and RICO conspiracy, was sentenced this morning to 295 months imprisonment. The 10th Street gang member admitted that he conspired with others to possess with the intent to distribute and to distribute significant quantities of cocaine base and marijuana, and that he possessed firearms in furtherance of his drug trafficking activities. Police news. 25-year-old Dylan Purdy of Randolph was charged Monday with 7th degree criminal possession of a controlled substance following a traffic stop on Main Street in Randolph. Police say Purdy was pulled over and found to have heroin in his vehicle. He was remanded to Cattaraugus County Jail following arraignment. 26-year-old Joshua Lanfear of Jamestown was charged on Tuesday with unlawful possession of marijuana following a traffic stop on Route 20 in Silver Creek. He was issued an appearance ticket and the driver was issued a speeding ticket both returnable to the village of Silver Creek Court next month. A 71-year-old Stockton woman was charged early this morning with driving while intoxicated following a crash on Route 380 in Jerry. Police say Sandra Blavarak drove off the road for no reason. Then they found the reason, a 0.16% blood alcohol content. Blavarak was uninjured in the crash. 47-year-old Stephen Pichel of Buffalo was arrested and charged by criminal complaint with possessing with intent to distribute heroin and fentanyl. The charge carries a maximum penalty of 20 years imprisonment and a $1 million fine. 27-year-old Jabril Williams of Buffalo was arrested Sunday and charged with criminal complaint with being a felon in possession of a firearm. The charge carries a maximum penalty of 10 years in prison and a $250,000 fine. Williams reportedly was stopped in a vehicle on the Peace Bridge while trying to re-enter the United States after visiting the duty-free shop. The firearm was recovered during a border search of the vehicle. A 25-year-old Buffalo man was charged Monday with false personation. According to New York State Police, during a welfare check investigation on North Main Street in Delavan, Ryan J. Thompson provided troopers with a false name in an attempt to conceal the fact that he had a valid New York State parole warrant. The troopers determined that Thompson was lying about his identity when he misspelled his last name. Sports! The Sabres, with lots of help from Jack Eichel, doubled up on the visiting LA Kings Tuesday night at Key Bank Center. Eichel scored a pair of goals and added an assist en route to the 6-3 win. The Sabres next play Friday when the New York Islanders visit at 7 p.m. Registration for the 10th Labatt Blue Buffalo Pond Hockey Tournament opened at noon today and runs through December 31st. The three-day 144-team tournament will be held February 17th through the 19th at Buffalo Riverworks Entertainment Complex. Full team rosters, including proof of age for all players, must be submitted upon registration. You'll find out early in January if your team made the cut. Then you'll have to pay $250 per team. And then in February, you'll find out what your schedule is. Death Notices Paul R. Mahler died Monday at the age of 62. Gail Bucky Bobo Frank died Sunday at the age of 82. That's the news for today. Don't miss tonight's Think So Joe show at 6 p.m. only on All Western New York Radio. But if you do miss it, you can always catch the podcast later. For All Western New York News and Radio, I'm Scott Leffler, inviting you to have a great day. Be in the audience Friday, December 16th at Niagara Falls Rapids Theater to smile and wave at 
the heads. The Canadian rockers will make their way south of the border and play what is sure to be a packed crowd at one of the best places to experience a concert in Western New York. Tickets are just $27.50, available online at rapidstheater.com and at the Rapids Theater box office. That's the Headstones, Friday, December 16th at Niagara Falls Rapids Theater.